How's it going, my pog champs? I'm at the ending part, I'm pretty sure. I think this is where the cutscene starts because this seems like a cutscene part. <laughs> and I have no idea what to make a video about today, so let's just do a video about this one. This one. And so let's just uh, get into it. So right now, I got Madam Ping telling me that she literally watched me do all this garbage shit and and fetch quests so that she could tell me at the very end and explain everything but to me. So that's now, awesome. That felt amazing. Before, her deeply held desire was fulfilled. As well as receiving an answer to her question, she also gained something much more precious. A moment of poignant nostalgia so vivid, it felt like she was right there alongside her grandfather. I'm confused. So why did that open the rock? The enormous power oh, okay. unleashed by the fulfillment of this desire resonated with the stove god statue and caused it to manifest once more. How did it crack the first time? The past. Did we feed somebody the first time? And they get nostalgia? I don't remember honestly. I did it yesterday too. But that sh that was that was a pretty boring quest line. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry anyone who thinks this is the pinnacle of gaming. And do you have to stand next to the statue or like I'm sure there's people out there during this festival that's also cooking stuff and eating stuff that they remember from the past, you know? Stove God himself is not contained within the statue. <laughs> the true Stove God has been here with us all along. Yes, yeah, so I'm so glad you told us about that and I'm so thanks. <sighs> Gaba. Adorable. How does it feel? Seeing a statue of yourself from your glory days. Ah, look at him. Is that a mustache? Seems so majestic. <laughs> Bro, give me another close up of that Wait, statue. I want to see it again. Did Roba used to be different from now? Oh, cut scene. Oh, yes. Back in his day, your Guoba was once Guoba. the patron god of the soil. Oh, that, uh, um, not sure if you know this, Madam Ping, but that makes absolutely no- How does soil get the food? He has since surrendered to the soil itself. What? A god surrendering their power to the soil. I have heard this turn of phrase before, but what does it mean? Yes, what does it mean? The trials and tribulations that a land can face are far more than you could imagine. Droughts, floods, torrential rain, hurricanes, earthquakes, tsunamis, fires, and plagues. Okay. The disaster will never fully disappear from Liyue. Even woes that have never been faced before in history will come to pass in the future. Such things affect you mortals far more than we Adepti, with our immortal forms. Okay. Once walked with you over the barren plains until you arrived at Oh no, that's fire. He joined right. you in building your dwellings and lighting the stoves. But it was his what? hand that lit the very first street lamp of Liyue and brought the aroma of cooked food into every household. Uh, the I don't think that very much explained how he became a, a soil god to a he stove god. No longer remember him, but back in the age when you did, how does Earth get the power of fire? All the adepti to the common folk. Okay. Oh. She. Machosius, god of the stove, born from what a, a sparkling stone struck stone. He was a god with a great love for humanity and their It looks like well a tyrant. Millennia ago, the people sought to it's crazy their city. looking. They built a dwelling on the plains and called it the Gwaili Assembly. The stove god cared greatly for the people, turning himself into minions who went into every home, fostering food and solidarity alike. Hmm. Alas, their home was taken by a flood. The waters ravaged the Gwaili assembly and forced the people Ooh, back south to near the harbor. This is some gorgeous animations. 
Though the distance was not far, is that fucking the was plagued by a terrible is Ganyu? storm. Ganyu? Ganyu can do that? Days, the Adepti stayed what? by their side. Is that Ganyu's During mom? This time, the stove god cooked an ancient Bro. delicacy, flatbread with a meat sauce to stave off the cold and damp. Fit for those on the moon. How does that? How does that get rid of water? That's adorable. Centuries later, disaster and plague arose once more. Why is Goba's story so beautiful? No longer, for he placed all of his power into the land itself to quell the calamities. His power expended and his wits greatly reduced. Thus, his body decreased in size. By the time he parted ways with us, he wasn't even the height of a human. Yes, we already know this. Lapis and I are the dishes that bring joy and are the secrets of the flame. Then went into the mountains oh, and fuck. entered into a long slumber. Actually animated. The stove god departed and Guoba was born. When he awoke, he ate the chili men's cornbread buns placed on the offering table by a young lady in yellow. Though he did not remember the past, he was profoundly moved and decided to follow this young lady thereafter. The stove god had quietly disappeared. It's adorable. But the vendors rose early. She didn't tell us about a, a doll being asleep goods, there, though. Lit their she said he just appeared. Food, just as they had done every day for as long as they could remember. In Liyue, things have always been this way. This is sick. Nature provides, the mountains rejoice. We are blessed by heaven's good grace. Who that? Years have gone by. Oh, the hey. world has transformed, but our way of life survives. Who <laughs> tell? Oh, so, oh, wow. Chi Chi's been dead for a hot minute, huh? Was Fame she alive? And fortune is only a season. It is the moment that we should embrace. Who's that? Past meets present. Who's that? Heritage becomes legacy. Long into the future may we thrive. Oh, was sick. Told me that dining is the profoundest of customs in the So human why world. did this fucking Goba well, bear thing get like the best cutscene? Itself. And to drink well the best is cheap cutscene, I'd say. The very essence of the world. Hello, what? It is a matter <laughs> so of fucking random. You said, for people cannot face. Now we just need this effort in the <laughs> stomach. At once, a humble affair. And a profound one. Now we just need this effort in the anniversary, huh? Am I right, guys? Aha! Aha! A humble meal of maize and spring water is also profound in that. By ensuring one's survival, it paves the way for millennia of human history and culture to come. I still don't understand how, how the god of soil learned how to cook and become the god of the stove Basically, while he was a god of the soil. Man, that was a nice turn. My dear friend, <laughs> that was sharp, my guy. Liu has changed so much while you have slept. Looking at the prosperity and beauty around us today, does it make you happy? What? Wait, what? Did he make this statue? Why did he put it inside of. Why did he put it in a rock? Well, There's like a puzzle behind it where you have to cook deal. food to open it. Why didn't you say anything? I mean, has he ever said anything other than ah? Is ah? He he is not who he once was. Even the power of speech evades him now. There is no way he could have told you. I mean, shouldn't shouldn't Zingling have known that? I mean, when has he spoken English, huh? Oh. Are you sad? Songling. Do not be sad and see. Yeah, why are you sad? There He's still are alive. Two sides to everything. 
He's vibing. Quoba may have lost many. I mean, Quoba, not Goba. He is now as carefree as can be, without a single worry in the whole world. Exactly, he's vibing. You see that man during the whole quest? He was just, he was just looking around and just enjoying life. Live a life free of all woes. Those with a mind and with the knowledge will certainly be troubled by all manner of things. Yeah. But he has gone further than us in his journey. He had both wisdom and courage. Everything he took upon himself, he was also ready to part with. His carefree demeanor today is a testament to the fact that he is at rest. Bro, I got just something to say. I hate whenever they say a bunch of like all this dialogue and it really could have been condensed down to like one sentence. I hate that. And they do it all the time in this to pad the runtime. They'll be like, instead of just saying some guy turned right, they'll be like, a guy placed his hands inside of his pocket, walked to the end of the hallway where he was met with a two directions, left or right. He, he decisively... Uh, thought about the process and then decided upon the correct answer of turning right. Upon the end of the hallway, he found that it was the correct answer. Like, come on. Come on. I'd rather a short story that's good than one that's filled with filler to the brim. The only, the best part about this was a cutscene because they didn't do that. They did it exactly how it's supposed to be. Right to the point. That's what so I like. Since you are his friend. Take good care of him. Good Go care. Go out to walk and play. Allow him to eat, drink, and be merry. Uh, sure. I will. I will. You can count on me. Yeah. Shangling, you have an adeptal affinity. Guoba follows you around because he has respect for you. The moment he awoke, he was met with a familiar flavor in the chili mince cornbread buns he ate. After all that time, he still recognized the I dish feel like he, he just invented. goes with him, and goes with her, because she, she probably cooking. feeds him nice. That's right. The taste of one's home cuisine always brings back memories of home. Though he remembered nothing, eating the food you had cooked gave him a feeling of familiarity. That is why he stuck by you. I mean, it would have been great if that food that we got from this was actually good and not defense. I'd rather attack, crit, healing, re revive. The God, the experience of being a no, we got customer. defense. That makes you quite a remarkable chef. A That's chef true. like that at a I child, be too. Happier because putting a smile on customers' faces is what we chefs are called to do. Well then, it's getting late and I still have things to do. Time for me to say goodbye. Isn't that kind of weird? I just thought of this. Isn't it kind of weird that we have a leeway event happen like right after Inazuma came out? Not, Traveler, it's not weird. Paimon, not weird. Okay. Xiangling, Keep going. Thank you all very much. I look forward to spending more time together in the future. Yep. Yep. Go shoo. I guess my dad's probably heard the good news already, but I should still go catch up with him. Master, it's been a while since you came by. I don't Let remember. I probably skipped the dialogue, but I don't remember her being taught by this old chick, Madame Peng. He thinks about you all the time, you know. Bro. He's always telling me to invite you over. They gotta have like a, like just a banner to where you have all the dead characters or all the old old characters or just like get Madame Peng in there, you know. They gotta cut. There's so many people that they said have been killed that are so cool looking. It's like, come on, give me something. Oh goodness me! Then that would be such easy refuse. printing money service, unless they do some loophole like they travel back in time and save everybody. And that's how you. Then. That's how they get a banner Let's about it. Saunter over gently and. See how all the city folk are getting along. Gooba! Gooba with your fire moustache. Gooba kind of look like a badass. Looks like he's got a mask on. Like a superhero. I still have no clue why him like yeah it said that he put his energy into the ground and then to stop a calamity from happening 
but I uh, I don't know how do you how does that convert to you being able to breathe fire like my Zhong Li my Zhong Li right here I put a rock down I have the power of earth doesn't mean I can breathe fire but hey I guess uh, the cutscene was cool <laughs> the cutscene was really cool man that was really nice hopefully we keep getting some of that Hopefully they up the production quality and up the rewards, am I right? <laughs> See, is this the end of it? Hi Dad, I'm back. Hi, puppy. Hey, hey, what are you doing there? I should be the one handling that. What is that? <laughs> Woba. Hey, my boy, Zhongli making an appearance. Ah! <laughs> oh, it's you. Punt him. Hello there, old friend. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Why didn't we go to Zhongli, honestly? Are you out for a stroll as well? I feel like we could have gone to the, the, the god that is known for having all knowledge basically having all that knowledge yet he he we didn't go to him we were like ah oh, we'll go to these other people to take a leisurely walk while the meal is being prepared I'm sure zhong li freaking zhong li we had a whole quest line about zhong li knowing what rocks are quite right Bruh. it also gave us the chance to run into you Guoba may not recognize you, but as ever, I look like he recognized you. Delighted to see you. Yeah, so, about Guoba to say. Doesn't remember anything, but can still feel when something's familiar. Bah. Friendship will always withstand the ravages of time. Traveler. I don't know about what that. Do you didn't you have a uh, didn't you have a dragon Ninjas. friend that now wants to kill you? Uh, not sure how how that how that held through the time, but yeah. Evocative and seasonal. The moon is a carrier of countless emotions. So many things. Charlie so looks so cool. As we gaze I like that eyeshadow. Poignant glow. Wherever the moonlight shines, the heart is wont to follow. Fond memories Same. of those no longer with us. Debts of gratitude to old friends. The meaning of ages past oh, yeah. and gone. Madam Ping has seen Zhong Li since that one quest line. Has existed for so many moons to date. Yep. All these things and more. They are why people chase the moon. <laughs> in old age, the sight of many things puts one in a wistful mood. But children are always a beautiful sight to see. Such yep. exuberant life force. Oh my it, god, it seems to I don't from deep within the land, yeah. land that has been in existence for so uh, long. Oh yeah, uh huh. The what? land is old. One that still dazzles today. Perhaps that is what defines Li Wei. Traveler, this moon chase festival has been all the more entertaining with you here to witness it. Got you, my girl. Now, let's have Xiang Ling brew us a nice pot of tea. We shall drink and chat at our leisure. Oh no, Zhang Li, she's got you in her hooks. <laughs> Finally, you can't run away this time. Wait, why didn't Zhang Li see her the first time? There's a whole thing with the main quest was oh, Zhang Li, Zhang Li and Madam Ping can't meet each other. And I was like, oh, hi, Madam Ping. Been a while, huh? What you gotta say? The food at Wan Min restaurant is excellent. I eat here often. God, that oh, voice is enchanting. That again. Xiang Ling is a remarkable child. Yeah, 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 yeah. Indeed. To have mastered the craft at her age lends credence to the old aphorism that heroes are made young. I guess that was the climax of the quest. Now, thank you guys for tuning in. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Johnny. Oh, that sounded terrible. Uh, Johnny. Uh, close enough, whatever.